Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a timeline menu to navigate to different worksheets in Excel. All right, so this is a pretty handy technique whenever I'm building a dashboard. And let's give you a quick demo first. All right, so this is going to be uh, the output product. On this Excel file, I have uh, five tabs, actually six tabs. On the top is my uh, timeline menu. And right now my active tab is on 2022. So if I click on 2020, and it's going to uh, navigate to 2020's worksheet. And if I click on 2021st, then it's going to take me to uh, 2021st tab. So that's basically the whole concept of creating a timeline navigation menu. All right, so let's take a look at how we can create a search uh, menu item. So here's an exercise Excel file. I'm going to start by creating a template first. And on the template tab, I already create uh, this timeline menu. And the way how I create uh, this timeline menu is by using different shapes. If you go to the insert tab, shapes, and from the shapes category, I'm using this uh, rounded rectangle shape. And which is right here, this one here. And basically, I just create a rounded rectangle. And I change the background color to red. I also remove the uh, shape outline. Inside the rounded rectangle, I insert multiple text boxes. And once you create the uh, timeline navigation menu, we're going to click on each individual text box to uh, link each text box to different uh, corresponding worksheet. All right, so here I'm going to select the first text box, which is going to be uh, text box 10. And this text box is going to reference in uh, the 2022nd uh, tab. All right, so I'm going to uh, right click. Then I'm going to click on link. the insert hyperlink window is going to pop up. So what I want to do here is I want to choose place in this document. What I mean is when you click on this item, uh, where do you want the cell to navigate to? And I want my cell navigate to uh, tab 2022. And I want to place my cell in cell A1. And I'll do the same for the remaining five items. Right, so I finished uh, embedded the hyperlinks to each individual text box. Now I want to group everything together into a single item. I'm going to hold the control key, then I'm going to select each individual text boxes. Then I'll right click. And let's say all my objects are grouped together. And this group object is going to be my template. I'm going to select this uh, group object. Then I'll do copy to copy uh, the object. Then I'll go into uh, each individual tab to insert the timeline menu. And I want to insert the menu in cell B3. All right, so if I click on 2021st, and that's going to take me to uh, 2021st worksheet. And if I click on 2018, and that's going to take me to uh, 2018's worksheet. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.